If you ever get stressed out about moving fish, just listen to the sound of crinkles and think relaxing fishy thoughts. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Creative Pet Keeping. My name is Kasha, I am your host, and today I'm going to show you a very, very simple way to move your aquarium locally. In particular, we're gonna focus on a nano aquarium, which is a five gallon. This is a beta community tank with shrimp, and the tank will be going to my dad's house, which I'm really, really excited about. And because this is a short move, we're gonna keep things very, very simple. You're gonna need three things to move your abetta in a simple and safe way. The first thing that you will need will be some bubble wrap. I always save these from all of my packages. This will be put in a tank to secure things from flopping around and make sure that I actually don't have to take this tank apart. I'm gonna do is remove the water, put this inside to secure all my plants and my scape, and on top of that, I'm going to be putting my betta in there as well, but the betta will be all in a bag and nice and secure. The bags that I'm gonna use are very simple. These are the small and long bags. Now, naturally, we wanna to gravitate towards large bags because it seems to make sense, like bigger is better. But in this case, for bettas, small bags like these are really, really great because you don't want your fish to flop around as you're driving in the car, and a smaller bag will help with that. The last thing you will need is a little bit of saran wrap to just cover the top of your aquarium to keep the moisture in, and you'll see why. And without further ado, let's get started. I set up a fish tank for my dad. I set up a fish tank for my dad. I set up a fish tank for my dad. And today we're gonna move it to his house. The first thing I'm going to do is remove all of the floating plants at the top of the tank. This will make all the maintenance and everything I'm gonna do later on so much easier. So that is the first thing I'm going to tackle. The next thing I did, which I didn't film unfortunately, was catch the betta and jar him. My dad wanted a different betta from the female sorority. He wanted a little girl that was red. So that is the fish that is gonna be going home with him. And here I am catching all of the shrimp into the little container. Now I keep moving it here and there and the reason I'm moving it is just so I can see better because this is a very small tank. So when I put the little box, it kind of blocks half the tank. I also put a plant in there because shrimp really like to have something to walk on because they tend to freak out if you put them in an empty container. And I'm gonna move around and double check to make sure I didn't miss any of the shrimpies. The next thing I'm gonna do is clean the glass. If your glass is already clean because it's something you've done recently, then you can totally skip this step, but I wanted to do so just to ensure that everything is nice and clean and spick and spam for my dad. And this particular sponge that I'm using is a sponge that I only use for aquariums. This is not like a sponge for your dishes, so don't worry about that. So I'm going to use the python hose to start to remove a lot of the water. The goal is to remove as much water as possible from the tank so that the tank is not heavy when you move it. But you also want to leave, like I would say about like half an inch of water so that the plants still have some moisture and some humidity forms so that the plants can survive the trip. Also, if there's any tiny baby shrimpies, that will also help them survive the trip as well. Next, I'm going to do some filter maintenance. I'm going to rinse all the different pieces, including the little filter pad that is inside. Now, I am not gonna replace it for a new one just because this tank is freshly cycled. I will also clean the little shrimp safeguard that they have for the intake. I really think it works pretty well because I, this is the first type of nano tank with an internal filtration that I have a lot of baby shrimp in here that are not getting stuck in the filter, which is really, really good. And I really like that this particular tank has a filter that is completely removable because this allows me to clean behind the glass as well. So we can be very, very thorough with the cleanup and prep. It's very important to mist your plants regularly when they are out of the water like this. This will prevent them from drying up. And now I will be adding all of the different bubble wrap into the tank to make sure that I secure all of the driftwood and keep everything very secure so that nothing kind of flops around. This is a great way to move a tank in a way where you keep everything intact so you don't have to take your tank apart and then put it back together. This is a really good time saver too, as long as you take the time to correctly prep. To ensure that the plants don't dry out, I am gonna be covering the top with some saran wrap and lightly securing it with the clips that I use for the actual glass lid. And here I put them on backwards 
for one part, so I'm gonna have to fix them and put them in the other way. This is kind of nice because it secures them pretty well, but allows me to take them on and off so I can add more or kind of mess around and do things. Like for example, in this case, I added the pothos in here and then I had to prepare the shrimp as well as the betta that I will put inside here as well. So this is the female betta that my dad liked. She is a nice little solid red female from the bucket baby spawn. And then here are all the shrimpies. As you can see, there's not a whole ton of water in any of these bags because this is going to be a short trip and you don't want a lot of water so things are flopping around. I'm going to open this up again and I'm actually going to place them inside here because the weather is nice and warm. It's super toasty here in Chicago at this moment. If you were traveling, in much colder weather i would recommend that you put your fish in a cooler that has maybe a heat pack inside or one of those like lunch bags that have um, insulation inside because it's very very important to maintain stable temperature for your critters in this case because they're in the tank that's going to help kind of maintain a stable temperature there's not going to be a lot of temperature fluctuation and the nice thing is everything fits all in one spot so it's all very easy to grab you don't have to worry about forgetting anything even though i'm keeping everything together so as you can see the light and the filter and everything is inside the glass lid i am going to keep separate and that is because as you drive in the car if you, there's any bumps and it, you know in chicago there's like potholes everywhere it's gonna be a bumpy ride and don't want it to break so it is secured separately i'm gonna have it in a little bag and carry it and here my dad is taking the tank to his new location i'm super super excited i love how it, it's so easy to transport small tanks and here it is in the back seat i actually did put the seat belt on it and you can see how shaky but you can see that the betta is nice and secure and that is exactly what i wanted if you are moving a slightly larger tank i do recommend putting the tank in the trunk so it's on a flat surface but it's a small light tank it could be okay on a seat and here my dad is going to start to unbox everything and we're going to set up his brand new office aquarium. Because everything is already put together, the setup is actually going to be super quick because you have to take only the materials that you put inside back out. You have to rearrange the scape to however you want it, make little adjustments, fill it back up, and then float your critters to temperature, acclimate them. And then technically that's kind of it. So here my dad's gonna pour in his little new girl in here. Now the reason I'm pouring in the water is because this is, you know, water from my fish room. It's all nice and safe. I don't have to worry about diseases. And look at her in her little happy home. Now the water is a little cloudy because I stirred up all the stuff that was inside from the move, but overall this tank looks really cute. I put in some new Indian almond leaves that I boiled and I hope that my dad will enjoy this little girl. My mom already named her Helga, so her name is Helga and she's gonna live with some red cherry shrimp and I hope that she's gonna have a great rest of her life. So thanks for watching my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out future uploads and give me a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video so I know to make more. I will be linking down below uh, some links to videos that you might hopefully enjoy. One would be the review of the tank that I used as well as another video where I show how I set up the tank in case you wanted to see that. I also will include some videos about how my dad helped me uh, build this little stand right here. I'm gonna link that video down in the description below as well. So thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.